Confidence in musky fishing is everything. Those that have a lot of confidence, they just do amazing things on the water. You watch them on TV, you watch them on YouTube here, and the guys that have all the confidence seem to catch all the fish. Why is that? Why, why is it that we can't catch all the fish? For us, I think there's five things that will help you guys become better on the water and gain more confidence. First off, a big thank you to all you guys out there, all our supporters. On our last video, we hit 1,000 subscribers and I can't tell you how thankful we are for that. So thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts on helping us achieve a goal that we set out. So enough of that, let's get on to the five things that I think will help you guys gain more confidence on the water. So number one is probably the most simple idea that to gain confidence in musky fishing, you actually have to catch muskies. I know that seems so simple, but so many people get caught up going out musky fishing on either their home waters or a lake where their buddies have really good success and are very confident and they go out and they struggle because there's either not numbers in that lake or it's not an easy lake to fish. And for us, we struggled with that too early on. And then we realized that you really need to fish lakes that have a huge quantity of muskies. It doesn't really matter about the size. You need to encounter muskies to get better. So we started going to a few lakes that have smaller fish, but have a lot of numbers. And there's just something to be said for being able to go out and encounter 10, 15, 20 fish a day and catch four, five, six, seven. It just, it boosts your confidence. Even if they are sub 40 inch fish, when you're first starting out, that can just be tremendous for your confidence in helping you learn what to do with a fish around the boat. Number two is another obvious one that I think we all get caught up in, especially after we've caught a few fish and we start to think that we know what to do on the water and where to go to try and catch these fish. And I think some of it is our pride or our ego, or we want to be the one catching the fish. But for us, number two is always fish with the best anglers you can fish with. And we're fortunate where we live. A lot of our friends are our top level guides in the area. And we have a lot of great musky fishermen that we can fish with. And when you fish with somebody that's better than you, you don't even have to catch the fish to gain confidence because you can watch them beside the boat and how they handle themselves. And you'll learn so much from whether it's a guide or your buddy that's a really good musky angler. I really encourage you to do that. So early on, I fished with my wife's two brothers and they are both just fantastic musky anglers they're so confident around the boat they've caught a lot of muskies but they don't they Here don't uh, brag about it they don't flaunt it in people's faces they just they're really methodical around the boat they're very humble and they just let kind of the music do the talking when they're musky fishing they're just they get in the zone and i was able to learn so much by just watching them and then like imitation will help you get better. So whether it's watching a YouTube video or watching your buddy who's a really good musky angler, you start to imitate what they're doing and you will gain confidence and you'll be able to put that into practice in your own boat. Number three is another really simple one and I think it's a product of our busy lifestyles and we always can't go fishing when we want and it's just simply you are not fishing the right time of the day or the right time of the week or the right time given the weather conditions or moon phases. There's a lot of things that come into play and we know this that we work Monday to Friday so we can only go fishing after work or on the weekends. You might not have ideal conditions on the weekend but unfortunately that's when you're going to go fishing. So that's where looking at the Salooner calendar and picking those minors and majors in that day and be on good spots at good times to increase your chances. I know it seems super simple, but a lot of guys, even our friends here, oh, I'm going fishing Saturday, and they go out and they fish all day Saturday, and they're burnt out for that moonset minor right at sunset, and they come in early and they miss the best chance at the day, statistically speaking, right? Like it's, it's not perfect, but you need to save yourself for those peak times, be on good water at peak times, and once you start to figure that part of it out, you're going to gain confidence a couple ways. You're going to be 
Oh, okay, here we have a minor, a major, I wanna be on good water. There's a good chance you're gonna encounter fish. And then if you start to catch fish at those times, it starts to help you gain confidence and you just start to trust yourself and trust your decisions a little bit better. And you'll realize that you don't need to kind of struggle for eight hours on the water when maybe it was just more advantageous to just spend an hour on the water. So number four is a little bit controversial, but it's something that a lot of guides see in their boat from clients and it's something that I'm sure a lot of you out there that have friends that build lures you've probably seen this and it's just simply you were just using the wrong lure at the wrong time so there's a couple ways that this happens and one is your buddy makes a lure he gives you a couple to try and you feel loyal to him so you are going to try and catch a fish on his bait and you fish it and fish it and fish it and it's not happening and you don't have confidence in that bait, but yet you're trying to help your friend. That's one way. For me, that's happened in my boat. I had a client that was fishing his buddy's bait. It looked a lot like a Meps Marabou, but the way it was built, it would fold up on itself and get fouled on the cast probably 40% of the time. We were on a big fish spot. It was a midday moonrise, kind of minor, and I told him, I'm like, I know you want to catch a fish on this bait, but can you just please change the baits and put on something that I have a little bit more confidence in? So he was reluctant, but he did switch. And at the time I was sponsored by PD's Musky Lures. I give him this Black Perch KM series, which is still a great lure. But the point I'm trying to make is I had confidence in this lure. We put it on and like six or seven casts later, he got a 45. And it's because not that he had confidence in this, but I had confidence that I knew this bait would run good in the water. And I just felt more confident in our boat by changing the lure. So that's one way that that, that can happen. The second way that using the wrong lure is the classic switch itis and we've all been there we just start digging through the tackle box because this didn't work this didn't work this didn't work we're just trying to make something work and we're pretty firm believers that by a couple weeks into the season we could literally pare our tackle box down to like 10 or 12 baits and we could go through the entire season like that and that's actually that's not a bad idea for a video to pick a weekend and do kind of like a, a three club golf tournament where you're only allowed three clubs or in this case three lures and see how we fare because I think doesn't matter what lure you have given enough time if you have confidence in that lure and you're comfortable with it you will catch fish so even if it's your buddy's lure you're going to catch a fish on it eventually but that when you don't have confidence in it that's not the time to be throwing it every single time on the water. The last thing I'll say about making sure you're picking the right lure is start with a lure that you are super familiar with and that you're super comfortable throwing because when you're more comfortable throwing that lure or using that lure and that type of action, you're going to put more into it. Lost one boat side and I just had one hit. Again, the same Dadson that's been the story of my year so far. Again, we fixed it. It's mangled. We got another nice one. And that also will help you gain confidence if it starts bringing fish into the boat or moving fish. You're going to gain confidence step by step by using that lure. And using a lure you're not familiar with, maybe it's a dive and rise. Maybe you've never used a dive and rise, but the hot bite's been dive and rise. So you try to use it and you don't have confidence in it or you're not working it right. You are not going to do a very good job with that lure. So the last thing, number five, is... I think, again, it's another easy one, but we all get caught up in it. And it's, we just need to stop worrying about everybody else catching fish. And it's as simple as if you're in the boat with a couple of your buddies and they're catching fish and you're not, you just can't worry about that. Just do your stuff and just know that it will come. And for us in our boat, there's lots of times where David will catch a bunch of fish a day or two in a row and I catch none. And... Yes, about five or six, eight years ago, that would have really bothered me. I would have went home. I would have been Not upset long, that, oh, he caught all the fish and I caught none. And I even tried the same lure as him, as him and it didn't work. That rarely ever works. What you need to do is just focus on what you're doing and know that the next trip out, I'm going to catch three or four fish and David might not catch any or Kyla might not catch any. And for us, it always works itself out. But we've spent a lot of time on the water and we understand that and we don't have any 
ego or anything like that pushing us in the boat. We're all in it together. It is a team sport. So if you have a fishing partner, you guys are a team. You need to do it together on the water. Friend of mine, Johnny Lubera from Lubowski Lures, he's kind of got a saying, it's just like positive musky vibes. And that's so true. When you go into the boat with positive musky vibes, thinking that something's going to happen, something will. It might be good, it might be bad, it might be in the middle, but something will happen when you have those positive vibes. Even a couple of my buddies here, they were pretty negative for a long time. They're like, oh, we went out and we cast, 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 and we got nothing. And oh, I'm just sick of musky fish. And I went walleye fishing for the afternoon. And we've all heard that. We've all been there. When it's not working for you, it can get very frustrating. But the more you let the negativity come in, the harder it is for you to focus on the fishing. I'm not sure where things change. Something happens in a musky angler when you start to gain confidence. For us, I think the easiest way to describe it is is you just loosen up. In musky fishing, when you're tight and you're tentative and when you're always on edge, it's hard to do things smooth and fluid. You get a fish beside the boat. It's hard to just be calm and collected in that moment. And for me, I used to have a rock band and we played in the local bars and we gigged around. And when we started out, I was really tense and tight on stage and it took me a little bit to get past that. And I realized that once I loosened up and I got past that fear of of judgment or whatever it is, you're able to just play a lot better and a lot smoother and you come across to an audience a lot better. I know that's a little different in fishing, but when you're loose on the boat and you're not super worried about everything around you it just becomes easier and I think that analogy of just being loose will really kind of help the last part of just kind of having a positive attitude is this you just have to realize that some days the muskies are going to win despite everything you do it's just not going to work out and you just need to learn something from that day and not leave discouraged just know that the next day it's going to work for you I just know that I can only worry about what we do and we can't worry about the next guy. If you're only catching one to five a year, it's going to be hard to gain confidence. And that kind of goes back to like number one, you just need to be on water where you're going to catch fish. I think that through all that, the more that you get in contact with fish, the more that you catch fish, the more your confidence goes up. And then the rest of these things will all kind of fall in line. If you want to watch us, have confidence on the water click this video right here because we had to make some decisions on that day on what lures to use based on what the fish were showing us for now 54 bust is out of here we're going to catch you guys out on the water later